Hey, Neville, this is Joe in Palm Beach. Welcome to Florida. <laughs> hey, why were the Dolphins the right choice for you now? Um, you know, they, they just bring a lot to the table. You know, I saw, you know, the DTs that had a lot of success here, and I was just looking for an opportunity to, you know, to follow that train. So what do you know about the um, – the Ravens scheme, because obviously Anthony mm -hmm. Weaver is going to kind of install a Ravens like scheme. How does that align with your strengths? Um, I mean, as you can see, you know, the amount of success that they had last year, you know, those guys, they they were very effective. <clears throat> and, you know, they, they were just playing at a high level. So I feel like bringing that here, you know, it, it's going to it's going to bring a lot, you know, and I'm just looking forward to be a part of that. I'm looking forward to the opportunity to learn and to just see how, you know, to see that success that he's had over there, you know, just translate over here with the, the group of guys we got here. We like Austin Clark. He's um, very uh, direct with us. He's like a straight shooter. What what can you tell us about? Because you know him, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what, what's your... know, I know all in all he's a great guy, high-intensity coach, and, you know, just through – guys that have uh, that he's coached you know he he competes at a high level I feel like whenever you got a d-line coach like that th those are the guys that usually demand the most out of their players so just looking forward for that opportunity obviously you can see you know what he's what he's done with the group of guys he's had and you know I'm just looking forward for that opportunity um to grow and, and develop with them as well thanks man Daniel Hey, Neville, this is Daniel over here from the Miami Herald. Welcome to South Florida, man. Pleasure, man. Pleasure. Yeah. I, I want to follow up on, on that question about Austin Clark because I know that uh, <laughs> when you came out that you were you know, signing with the Dolphins, it was reported that uh, you trained with Austin Clark. Can you just tell us a little bit more about that relationship with him? Yeah, absolutely. You know, um, just in, in the D-line world, um, you know, Coach P. Jenkins, you know, all those guys, they're, they're, they're fantastic. And, again, just seeing what he's done and the caliber of guys, the amount of players that spoke so highly of him, and, you know, just getting an opportunity just to just be in the same uh, presence at a point in time was, was great. And, obviously, we, we spoke very little. But just to see, you know, the amount of guys that were raving on and on about him, I, I knew that, you know, if the opportunity presented itself, that he was going to do his best to get whoever he had in his room right. So. We're, we're, we're here and, you know, thankfully getting the opportunity to do so. That's awesome. Man. And I want to ask a separate question. Obviously, there's been a lot of turnover, uh, you know, on the defensive line with the Dolphins. I was curious for you personally, like, where do you feel most comfortable playing? Is it maybe three tech, uh, maybe zero shade? Where do you feel most comfortable playing? Um, you know, and, you know, the, the beauty of it is, you know, uh, Coach Clark, you know, as well as the rest of the staff, you know, I, I, obviously that's what makes them great, right? So I know they're going to find a – a fit that's perfect for me. And really, I'm just coming with the mindset, you know, ready to, to work, ready to learn, ready to grow, and, and just ready to be used where they see uh, the best fit. So I couldn't tell you right there. I couldn't tell you off rip, but I'm, we'll, we'll see. We'll see, uh, We'll see. you know, as this as this season progresses. Yeah, I appreciate it. Perk? Hey, Neville, Chris Perkins from the South Florida Sun Sentinel. How you doing? Pleasure, pleasure. All right, all right. Hey, uh, I got a couple of things for you. Number one, um, recovering from injury. You had the elbow injury, and I want to know about the mental side of recovering from the injury and the isolation part of it, because you're not really around the team. H how do you deal with that, and what 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 keeps you going? What what gets you through I, I, what I think is probably a fairly dark time? Um, You know, the, the – the beauty of it is, you know, it's been two years since then, and, and you know, I feel like, you know, as a competitor, if you love this game, man, you never, you never want to be away from it, right? But, you know, even thankfully going through that experience, I had a great group of guys that, you know, even, even though I'm here, you have such a strong relationship. But, you know, it, I feel like it's a kind of what comes with it, right? You know, you devote your your, your life to this game. You know, it's gonna come with some bruises, it's gonna come with some pain. But I feel like, if anything, that's what's dro driven me you know, to take it another step further, you know, it, it's helped me to understand, you know, the value of taking care of your body and not taking things for granted. Um, and, you know, I feel like with that, it just allowed me to be tougher, you know, and really just made me approach the game with, you know, another, another level of respect. So, I mean, yes, it, it was tough, but I feel like when tough times like that happen, the benefit of having a great team, you know, I got to give a major shout out to my wife because she, she played a major role in helping me 
you know, overcome and just understand that even with that, that happening, you know, there was so much more work to be done. And I still know I had a lot to give. So, you know, it was just a, you know, a major but minor stepping stone, man. And, you know, we, we give God thanks because, you know, we're in this position now and, and we're still able to keep pushing forward. You know, that happened two years ago and, you know, I'm already entered into year five, so it was a blessing. So, you know, it was a minor setback, but, you know, we we're still able to build, so. Yep, got you, got you. Uh, a follow-up here uh, on a different topic. Uh, I'm wondering about what attracted you to the Dolphins. I know opportunity and money are usually a big thing in the NFL. Did Mike McDaniel play a role? Austin Clark play a role? You're on another team with no state income tax, like in Dallas. Uh, did the weather play a role? What What were the factors aside from opportunity and money? It, it, it was really, like I said, it goes back to the fact that, you know, I love this game and I know – that there's a level that, you know, I aspire to get to. And then when you just sit back, you know, there's no fluke. It doesn't matter what, a, you know, it doesn't matter what team you play for. You saw the impact that, you know, this team has had when it comes to developing D linemen. You saw the success that they've had. You, you've seen guys be able to, you know, really take care of their families. And, you know, you just see, like, you know, those guys, every every D lineman that's played here is under the staff, you know, the group, they played with a chip on their shoulder. You know, they, they brought a lot to the table. So, I was just looking forward to the opportunity to, you know, to grow my game and to just take it to another level. That's why, you know, when the opportunity presented itself, you know, it it felt right. It felt like what I needed. And, you know, I, I felt like, you know, with this with this team, you know, there'll be a lot of, of work that'll be able to get done. Thanks. Last question, Alan. Uh, hey, Neville, Alan Poupard, uh, alldolphins.com, fellow, mm -hmm. fellow Canadian native like yourself. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, uh, so I know you grew up in Ottawa. So I'm wondering whether you, you played any hockey growing up, and at which point did be, did it become strictly football? Um, man, I wish I would have gotten a chance to play hockey. I just wasn't the best skater. I skated him, and maybe just didn't match. But um, you know, I was always a fan of football, and and really, I I was just a major fan of. You know, you, you get to put your hands in somebody and not get in trouble for it. You know, it, it was it was a it was really it really just helped, you know, with the, you know, the mental, you know, as a kid. And obviously, you know, really, when I when I started playing football, I just saw it as an opportunity when I saw it as an opportunity to get school taken care of. That was kind of the, the first and major mission. Obviously, you know, you have aspirations to go to the NFL and it was kind of unheard of being from where I'm from. But, you know. God had a way of working things out, so we're just excited that we're in this position now. Uh, quick follow up: uh, are You are you like tied with Javon Holland, another uh, fellow Canadian? Uh, uh, Javon Holland. I'm assuming you talk about Chase Claypool. Well, Chase and and uh, Javon also is Canadian. Yeah, so you know Javon. You know, I actually got a chance to really you know shake his hand, and he beat me in air hockey in real Vegas. You know, I, <laughs> so it's all good. But you know, I don't really know him. Personally, but I'm looking forward to the opportunity to, to be around him. I, I know he, I want to say he's from the Toronto area. And again, it just goes to show um, the the level of football, the level of the guys that are in Canada. Obviously, I got a chance to, to, to you know, to hang with Chase Claypool at the Senior Bowl. Both great guys, both guys that are hungry. And again, it's, it's always exciting to see guys come from similar backgrounds, you know, all of us being Canadian and just having our dreams come true. You know, um, just seeing how those guys have competed, seeing the success they've had. And, you know, I'm just looking forward to the opportunity to, to add to that.